Alright, hello what's up YouTubers, this is DinoLil9, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to mod the main campaign of uh, Divinity Original Sin, Divinity Engine is what I'm going to call it. Um, I'm going to go directly all the way from the beginning as soon as you download it to, you know, just how to do the main campaign. Um, what I do recommend doing, sorry my mic's definitely going to mess up, whenever I'm recording and doing modding or working on my game the mic messes up. So, yeah, sorry about that, and of course the background noises, but, um, anyways, oh, and I'm really tired and crabby, so just try to hang out with me here. <clears throat> um, so, what I do recommend you doing is learning how to, um, do your own module first, because that is a little bit easier, it's actually a lot a bit easier, um, and it's your own thing, and, uh, there's no restrictions on it. Well, not really. You know, it's the engine's restrictions instead of the dev's restrictions. So, um, what you're going to do is you're going to create a new module. And uh, when you create a new module, if you want to work on the main game, click main for both of these and name it whatever you want to name it. Um, I already have mine named, but that's not where you're going to start out clearly. As soon as you download this, you are going to start out with, um, give me a minute here, is it resources? No, it's definitely not resources. Um, hmm, let me think here. Yeah, preferences, except it might not be this big. But you're going to have these two things. Um, editor, data path, and game data path. Um, for the game data path, you're going to go into where you have the game downloaded. Um, I got mine through Steam, so it's going to be there. So you're going to go into Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Divinity, Original Sin, click on data. Um, for the editor path, you're going to do the same exact thing, literally. Go inside of data and click on the editor. Leave this one empty. If you do this bad or wrong, like if you put it in the wrong spot, sorry, you're going to have to re-download the whole thing. Um, I heard that you can fix it, but re-downloading it should just be easier unless you are, have really slow internet. Um, so if you want to do it the other way, then feel free. Um, next thing that we're going to do is... Uh, let me open my module. That level load module. We'll just do the four player one. Okay. <clears throat> so now that you have um, the main one, actually, I'll just go directly to it and I'll show you guys. Um, so here's the confusing part. I don't know if you guys are going to have any levels because you're using the main game, but technically count it as you don't have the levels. You're not going to be able to add anything. You're not going to be able to do anything to it. You're not going to be able to edit it at all. Um, and the reason for that is you have to have the, um, like, administrator or developer, um, man, I forgot what it is, but you know, like, how they have the special rights to be able to. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to click new level, and you're going to type in the same exact name as, uh, I'll show you here soon, but let's go into the module. Um, if you want four players to be able to play, like two people play as the henchman, do that. Make sure your mod's in here, and main here, and main here. If you want other ones, you got that. You want to put in the author, put in that. Um, my names are two different because I decided to do a different mod after I did it. This should probably be blank, and if it isn't, don't worry about it. But what you're going to want to do from here is here. I'm, whoops. Yeah, load level. Um, capital C Y S E A L. Now all these are going to be in the description and you're going to have to create a new level of all of them. Even if you already have them in the load, you're going to have to retype all of that. So capital C Y S E A L, right? Right? And then you're going to hit okay. And it's going to create the level, but when it creates level, it's going to use their exact level, but now it's going to give you some of the administrative rights, you know. Um the things that you can't do, I don't think you can mess with the terrain. You might not be able to. You can add your own entities. You can, of course, do scripting, but I think you can do that without messing with the module. Um, you might not be able to script what they've already scripted, though. Um, you can definitely do your own dialogue. It doesn't show up their dialogue in the dialogue box, but you can still do their dialogue. Here, I'll even load a level real quick and show you guys. We'll just do the main one. So... You're literally going to have to... Um, I'll go over all these real quick. Control z is undo. Control X is cut. You guys should know what undo is. Cut is, it erases that. Well, kind of. 
Yeah, it erases that from its place, but you can place it somewhere else. So it's kind of like taking it from one spot, putting it into another, but not keeping it in that spot. Where if you control C, it's copying it, so it keeps it in that one spot, and then you control V, which is paste, so you can duplicate it. Um, what is it? Control S is save. Control N is new. Um, in this engine, it's new level. Uh, control P is print. Not really important here. What's control A? Control F is open, I think. No, control O is open. Control F, I believe, is inspect. And, um, well, if you guys want to go over the rest of them, I was just naming those off while this is loading. If you guys want to go over the rest of them, check them out online. Um, let me think here. Oh, yeah, so after you've done every single one of these levels, because you're going to have to do every single one of these levels for it to work with the main campaign, I'll show you them all right here, but they should also be in the description, so you can just copy and paste them, you know, left-click over them, Control-C, then Control-V it, or right in here whenever you hit new level. Um, wait for it to load, and then do Control-N again, you know, just click that, and it pops up this real quick, bleh, real fast. Um, but after you have all the levels in there, go back in the module, make sure this is startup level, character creation, and menu level, menu screen, Cecile, serial, whatever. Um, but yeah, the data, make sure you have that right at the beginning. And after that, you can start adding your own entities. This is going to be a little laggy because I'm doing this with you guys. Here, we'll add something real quick. I like making this bigger. Boom. Boom, boom. That's not cool. Show me the money. Bath lady. Mmm, sexy bath lady. Now, I'm used to clicking and dragging it over, but what you're going to have to do for here is, you know, make sure you have the add, and then you just left click. And I need to flag. You guys need to flag that. No, I'm joking. <laughs> but yeah, so you just left click instead of click and drag, and then, of course, you can go into the, this, no, keyword. That's the dialogue. Um, and then in the keyword here, you can make their own dialogues, you can do your scripting over here in the story editor. See, it keeps all their scripts, including the ones at the start. I think they have a couple added, especially if you were doing your own module, they do. So, it keeps all that, you can play the normal game, um, but you can add things to it, like four players, as I just showed you guys, that's real easy. Or you can add extra followers, characters, quests. Like I said, we're going to attempt to mess with the terrain right now. Uh, I don't think you can though. We're gonna check it out. I'm just gonna raise over here. No. Nope. Yep. So you can't mess with this. And then, like, here I'm gonna do this. You can't mess with their other entities. So I'm gonna click on this guy. I'm gonna be like, oh, let's check out selected objects. Ding. So you can't mess with their own stuff either. But what you can do is add things onto it, give them their own quest, and uh, of course you can make your own levels and have things teleport you there. Um, all that blah blah blah. Um, hopefully I didn't spoil anything. No, this is right at the beginning of the game. Um, and back there was their editor station. If I missed anything, I'm really sorry. I'm going to do other tutorials for this mod. I'm sorry if I said this a little too fast, but if you have any questions, go into the comments. Um, or even check in the description where all the names are also going to be. And, um, if you're like, well, how do I do the dialogue? And, um, how do I do all the stuff like that? Sorry, I'm back. Um, but I don't know what I was talking to you guys about. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, so I'm going to do other ones, like how to do the dialogue, how to do scripting for combat, how to do scripting for quests, like whether it be fetching or all that, because they didn't go over all of it. But if you don't want to wait for my videos to come out, um, I believe it's L-A-R-I-N, Larian or Larian Studio. Um, if you look for their YouTube channel, uh, they have Divinity Original Sin or the Divinity Engine, whatever you want to call it. They have their own tutorials, and it teaches you how to do basic quest. It definitely teaches you how to do your own module. And if they don't give you a good impression how to do it, then um, look for uh, other you know, YouTubes or wait for my video to come out. <clears throat> and if your engine isn't running at all, um, it could be because you messed up, so follow all of these steps. And if it's still not running, try to check the forms or look at their specific videos in the comments. A lot of people will help you out. I had to find out how to do the main campaign from somebody's form. Campaign? I think I think that's what I just said. I meant campaign. Um, and I guess I've been rambling on, but yeah, so that's how you edit the main campaign. 
And uh, after that, you should be able to publish it somewhere up here. Was it? Yep, yeah, right there. Um, and I'm going to be doing two mod three mods for this. And then I'm going back to my main game. So look forward for all of that. Thank you all for watching. I was going to use hotkeys, but I'm going to open this up because I don't know what F9 and F10 does in this program. So, yep, thank you guys for watching. Stare into the infinite abyss, and I will see you guys later.